Hey everyone, so let's go ahead and talk about this bubble game, okay? Um, it is called Floating Bubbles, and this one actually gave me a hard time when I first started teaching because it was kind of like, what do you do? Because it's one of the very few items that QKids doesn't have a reference section that explains the game to you and how you should play it. So let's go ahead and talk about it. When you go ahead and you click onto the screen, it's completely blank. You have to activate the game by clicking New Round up in the top left corner. Then you'll see all the pictures of the new vocabulary that you're teaching the children, and then the spelt out words over here on the right hand side. So in order to play it, you as a teacher have to go ahead and make a match first, okay? So this is when I say, okay friends, here we go, let's play a game. Let's click, 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 and match up the words with the picture. Here we go, our first word is fan, fan. And that's when you as a teacher, you have to click on your fan picture and the fan spelling and then it creates the connection and that's when the kids on the other side can connect the word and the picture fan. If you don't connect fan, the children aren't able to actually connect it, okay? So let's watch it again, you'll see fan, fan. Okay, I want you to look down here above the children's names you can hear the see the hint button. The hint button does not get activated until I click as a teacher and connect. Okay, look, I click on the fan the picture. There's no hint buttons. That means the kids on the other side aren't able to go ahead and do this activity yet. As soon as I click this button, fan, with the word spelled out, all of a sudden the hint buttons pop up and the children are able to click and match the word and the picture fan, okay? Now, after they've done that, you say, good job, everybody, click, click, fan, connect the fan. If there's a student that's lagging because they're not getting it, even after you're clicking the hint button or they're just having a problem with it, you can go ahead and circle, good job, everyone. I'm just waiting for everybody. You're doing such a good job. Fan, fan, click, click, and connect. Click, click, and connect, fan. Great job, and that's almost when every single person gets it. I normally don't have too much trouble with this game. Now, if you can see, when I roll over the other ones with my cursor, with my mouse, um, the students can't see my bubbles getting bigger and larger. That's just for me on my teacher end, okay? Because remember, the interfaces look a little bit different, okay? If I try to click on restroom, it will not click, okay? Because, in between each word that you do, you have to click new round in order to be able to click on restroom and then restroom. All right, friends, you need to click, click, and match, match, rest room, rest room, and then you're able to give the children hints, okay? Now, the thing is, for you as a teacher, you have to remember the words that you've been doing, okay? So if you'll notice, they're always in the same order. Every time you click new round, they're in the same order, okay? So you can go around and go like this, you know, and you, as your, your own pattern, you can go on this side and this side, or this and then this. Um, it's completely up to you. I normally skip around and I can remember it's only six. You, you shouldn't really have that much of a problem. So go ahead, click on the next one. You can say, all right, click, click and match bookshelf, bookshelf. Very good job, everybody, good job. And remember to give diamonds throughout the game as they're doing um, the game successfully, okay? You can always give your kiddos hints down here every time you play, but once again, don't panic if you're not able to go from one to the next. Always click new round in between each picture. And I only play this game one time, okay? Another game that is um, a little bit, or like an activity that's a little bit kind of like, what do you do? I think I've gone through this one in a previous video, but I'll go ahead and go through it again, is how to do the AR videos. Students, students learn new words. What's this? So this is when you're up on the screen. You can see over here, my little avatar shows up um, in the top right-hand corner, and I show up on the screen. And gosh, sorry, my hair is like out of control today. <laughs> um, and then you can go ahead and you click on the word and it shows a little picture and a little boy doing it. And this vending machine showed up at our very first screen of the lesson. So you can say, what's this? 
And then this is always when I put my text box up here. It's a vending machine. Vending machine. Good job. And I normally say these words about three times because that's in the Cute Kids guidelines. It says for learning new vocabulary, say the words three times. This is when you actually say the, say the word and have the kids repeat it. Um, and this is a great practice. This really gets them to listen, say it, hear it, you know, and all of that. Read it, say it, and all of that. So anyway, I say, good job, vending machine, vending machine. Good job, vending machine, vending machine. One more time, vending machine, vending machine. Good job. If it's kids, if it's smaller kids, I normally will make it a little bit more fun. So I'll say, what are these? These are lockers. I make the words a little bit bigger. Lockers. So sometimes I say, all right, friends, let's say lockers. Lockers, good. Let's yell, lockers, lockers, very good. Now let's whisper, lockers, lockers. Oh, excellent job, everybody, very good, lockers. Let's learn a new word, good job, here we go. What's this, elevator, elevator. Good job, elevator, bing, brrp, going up, elevator, very good. Elevator, elevator, good. Elevator, elevator, good job. Elevator, elevator, very good. Great elevator, everybody. High five, very good. And then that's how you kind of work with this, the little um, AR video with learning the new words. After this AR video, you always, always have this. Next screen up where you say, what's this? An elevator, very good, it is an elevator. And you go through each one. This is a vending machine, great job. And then normally after I go through all four, I go through them again, but I quickly pick the magnifying glass and then the word disappears so they can't cheat and read the word. And then you can say, what is this? Now they can't see my cursor going around in circles and you're not able to do the right click wand highlight. When I say right click wand highlight, that's this, okay? Once you make it bigger, you're not able to do the blue highlight. So you say, what is this? It's an elevator, very good. Give them diamonds in between. And what's gonna click very quickly on the magnifying glass so they can't see the word. These are lockers, great job everybody. This is a vending machine, good job. If you have to kill time, you can minimize it again and say, what is in the vending machine? What's this? Coke. Very good, it is Coke. Very good, wonderful job. Let's keep going. And then that's how you play this magnifying um, glass and review of the new words that you just learned in this screen. Always, always after this screen, you have this one where you click and you can magnify the new vocabulary and that's where you really practice it. And then you get to practice the new vocabulary with the floating bubbles game. So I hope this one was useful for you all. Have um, a fun teaching for cute kids. If you guys have any questions at all, let me know. I love this company. Keep it up. Let me know if you guys need any extra videos. I love the requests coming in. It's a lot of fun for me to do these. If you have questions about how to do some of these games and I didn't explain them better, let me know and I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye.